I am moving towards something that awaits me to complete itself. And perhaps only perhaps please me. That has to be a blessing. That has to be some thing put in me to obey. That is quite self determinal. At one point I wouldn't think myself right, but now I definitely will say I'm right <laughs> because I have a home in 78 years behind me. I'm a, I'm a well disciplined person. I worked very hard. You notice my library, the, the vast references, they come from all over. And I'm looking for something, like somebody seeking the source of rivers. must have people that you want to go past. Like I said again, I, I didn't find too many in Trinidad, so I started to read more. And I love books with pictures, so I devoured that. I didn't read too much. Then later now you can't stop me from reading, you know, because I have to deal with ideas. I don't look at painting only from a visual standpoint. I think of it as psychological. We are talking about becoming persons in motion, their souls in motion. I follow things, I scrutinize things. There is something behind the actual that I want to know, that esoteric level. And um, I don't know, I don't know what to say about it, but tell you to look at my work and see what evidence I'm bringing back. Because it's like I'm going somewhere <clears throat> and, and bringing it out. That's why I quote the line from Duens, which says, I'm moving towards something that awaits me to complete it. It's like being in a vast ocean or a volcanic space where a lot of activities are going on. Some are more predominant and predominantly felt than other things. This vast squadron, as silent as we might be sometimes, it is a cauldron of activities. The question for me would be, why me? Because I, I tend to look at other people being asleep. When I was very young, a child, I had a Godmother called Miss Dika. She was a Baptist, a strong African woman. Her husband, Kanaka, had a donkey. All the makings for Obia. I had a slight fear for her, but I had respect for her. It's a mixture. I can't say I love her like I love my mother but it's akin to loving her like my mother. And she's one of the people who impressed me very young. They had one or two men in Gonzales, very strong men, who cut trees down and stuff like that. They too had that mystique about them. And I seemed to be persuaded along those lines that there was something in that darkness that had light. I couldn't see it so then, but it's what created the drive for me. And that's why I talk about following ants and bees and, oh man, insects. I love catching butterflies. But when I catch them, I felt guilty because I couldn't catch them so tenderly that the dust didn't come off. I was so excited about that, to catch a butterfly and not have the dust come on your finger. So yes, that suggests some kind of tenderness in my approach to life. 
it's a spiritual work. And the spirit is a kind of occupying a vast current. It's just that the spirit expresses itself in different ways. One in painting and one in whatever the other form is. And uh, I'm not saying that to say like I don't have the answer. The answer is in the work itself. One has, I think that is the work of the people who witness the work. What I'm doing is, I'm really talking two languages, hopefully that will become one language. And I'm not making this up. I approach both of them with equal passion and intensity and so on. Um, but I'm lost between them. I've, I'm found doing the same thing in a way, just in two different mediums. I'm a slave to my art. <laughs> I don't want to admit it too much, but I, I obey. I obey my painting and my writing. And I think what happens is you do get a kind of flow, a multi-dynamic occurring. You get the poetic feel, you can look at elements of the composition of the paintings and get a poetic feel or slant. And you can look at my writing and it's just so picturesque and so on. Don't forget this one person and all the energies are filtered or tunneled through this person. So it depends sometimes on what you're looking for. Some people may go towards a painter and say, ah yes, did you not write something like this? And I might even be astonished that they would pick out a line that really is the replica of the gestures on the canvas. Mm -hmm.